Okay, now let's solve one of the questions from problem sheet number nine, uh, problem one, question A. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a cantilever beam, but this time the fixed support is on the other side. Really, does it matter? No. It's L, the length, we have point A, point B, and a single unit load of W is applied. In the previous example, it was a distributed load of W. So this is now having a unit of kilonewtons or newtons or something similar to that. And it's asking us what is the deflection at point B. If at any point it asks you what is the deflection at point A, it's a trick question. At point A, deflection is zero. Yeah, it's a fixed support. If you remember deflection and um, rotation or the slope at point A, because it's a fixed support, it's always zero. We have discussed this in the double integration uh, to figure out the, the deflection before as well. Now, let's quickly do this through the virtual work. So, I have VA, I have HA, and I have, let's say, a moment A. Yeah, these are the reactions due to the fixed support. Let's calculate these guys. These are all on the real case. Yeah, so real case reactions. Summation of all forces in x direction equals to zero. This direction as positive. So h of a is equal to zero. Perfect. Summation of all forces in y direction equals to zero. Going upward is positive. So v of a is equal to w. Perfect. Summation of all moments along any point will be equal to zero. Considering this direction as positive, where should I get the moment? We usually take it through the point which has majority of the unknowns. So A. If I take 0, I have this W times its perpendicular distance. Going around A is clockwise. So W times its distance is equal to... This moment is anti-clockwise. So I just bring it to the other side, MA. There is nothing else which can affect my reactions. So far, so good. Now, I want to cut the section to figure out uh, the moment as well as the shear. Just out of curiosity. I will start from the left side. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Oops. A single point. So I cut it. Whoop. A micron before the, the applied load. What will I end up with? Is something similar to this. A fixed support. which I have a length of x because it's not L anymore. I'm just cutting it one micron before it. I have already calculated the reactions over here. So let's replace them. V of A is now W. And this moment is positive as well. So this direction was correct. Was WL. What else did I end up considering this positive cube? M, V, V, M. I'm cutting the other side. So over here, I have V of X, function of shear, as well as function of moment. And this is point O. So far, so good. So far, so easy. Summation of all forces and stuff, all calculated. Summation of all forces in y direction, as you can see, little by little, we are omitting some of the bits. So we're doing it in our mind to speed up. Anyhow, engineering is about efficiency and speed as well. But I strongly suggest in your exam, you write all of the procedures, because if you miss one bit of it, then at least whoever is marking will understand that you knew something about it so at least you won't lose half of you won't lose the entire mark you might lose half of the mark so try your best to be as uh, precise as possible in your exam but 
whenever you want to do something for yourself or a calculation, you're more than welcome to omit some of the steps. Why not? Now, this equals to this. V of x equals to w. Let's put some values in it. At x equals to 0, v of x will be w, constant. At x equal to l, v of w, sorry, uh, v of x will be w as well, constant. So far, so good. I'm more interested in the moment, so let's write the moment along point O equals to 0 and this direction as positive. What happens now? I have this point. So I have this w going around point O with a perpendicular distance of x. It will be positive as well because, as you can see, is following that direction so it's a positive wx I have this moment regardless of whether it has a distance or not it's a moment but it is against my positive direction so it's a negative wl anything else I have this moment as well regardless of its distance which is against my direction negative mx equals to 0 can I figure out the function from this? Yes, mx is equal to wx. I just took mx to the other side. Minus wl. Perfect. Let's put some values in it. At x equals to 0, my mx, this will become 0, is negative omega l. At x equal to l, this will be WL minus WL. My MX will be zero. Now that we have time, let's draw this as well. Why not? So I'm drawing shear diagram. I'm drawing moment diagram. Shear diagram. V of X. This is my shear. This is X. Where do I start? At X equals to zero, my value is W. At x equal to L, let's say this is L, my x is equal to W. Dup, 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 dup. This is my shear diagram. As simple as that. It's a positive side as well. Let's draw the moment diagram. M of x, moment. What are the values? I said um, I said that we usually draw the moment diagram for the tensile side. So if that load is applied, it will be something similar to this. So the bottom bit will be compressed, the top bit will be under tension. Yeah. And then we said the moment diagram, the bottom will be positive for us, the top bit will be negative. This is just an assumption. I have a negative omega L at x equals to 0. So I draw it on the top bit. And then at L, I have a value of 0. Perfect. So I have two, two of my points. This is a constant. So the moment should be a linear. So, uh, uh, oops. This is a linear. And it's on top of it, so it's a negative. As quick as that, I draw the shear diagram. As quick as that, I draw the moment diagram. But the question is not interested in either of these. The question is just asking us, what is the deflection at point B? So far, I have done for the real one. So let's do for the virtual one as well. So I just zoom out so you can see the both sides beside each other. So I have this guy with all of the calculations that we have done. Now I want to figure out the virtual case. So instead of real case, I'm doing the virtual case. The virtual case simply was saying, omit whatever load is on your beam, regardless of how the the length is or whatever it is the length is l and this is my beam now it says replace or place a virtual 
load at the point that you are interested in this deflection i'm interested in deflection of point b so i just apply a single unit at that point this is my virtual load mm -hmm. now similar to the previous one i will have a va i will have an ha and i will have a moment a yeah, be careful not to mix these with these. These were calculated under load W. These will be calculated under load 1. So let's calculate them. The reactions first. Reactions. Summation of force X. This concludes that HA is equal to 0. Summation of forces in Y direction. Going upward positive. This concludes that VA is equal to 1. Similar to this. Because I, I was lucky that it was asking for B, so I just replaced W with 1. If it was asking for the middle, then I wasn't that lucky. I should have applied the load in the middle. And trust me, try that. You will get completely different results. Why? Because when you're calculating the moment, you will have completely different results. Uh, summation of moment a because zero what happens is one times l along point o it's a positive one so one times l is equal to this is against my direction so i just put it to the other side ma reactions done now what should we do similar to this i just cut it a micron before the end so what will happen i will end up with such a case which i have already calculated these values v of a is one there is a moment like this which i have calculated is l this has a length of x because it's a micron before l and i have my shear following this I'm cutting it under this side so this is point o v of x and then whoop m of x perfect can i calculate all of these yes let's see if i say summation of all forces in y direction equals to zero and this side positive v of x will become one yeah this guy and this guy Let's put some values in it. At x equals to 0, my v of x is 1. At x equal to l, my v of x is 1. It's constant. Let's do the moment. Summation of all moments along point O equals to 0. Let's do this direction as positive. What happens is, I have this 1 along point o it goes rounded so positive and the perpendicular distance is x so one times x and then i have this moment moment l which was this regardless of its distance it's a moment so i just have to bring it in the summation of moment and it is against my direction so negative l and then i have this mx which is negative as well so i just bring it to the other side mx this is my moment function for virtual the same thing happens here moment function under real case Let's put some values in it as well. So at x equals to 0, if I put 0 here, mx will be negative l. If I put at x equal to l, mx will become l minus l will become 0. Can I draw it like this? Yes, let's quickly draw it. Shear. It's a constant 1, so 1 
all the way to L this is my X so it will be something similar to this and it's a constant and it makes sense because I just replaced W with 1 so as you can see it's the same thing and now let's draw the moment so if this is similar to this this should be similar as well and it's negative L so I, I will draw it on top of it so negative L comes all the way to 0 so x0 is negative L xl is 0 and this is my x so what happens to my drawing uh, oh. it's top of the diagram so it's negative so that was constant this will be linear so as simple as that I have drawn the the diagrams as well but again the question is asking deflection at point B I don't care about any of these stuff so I just need this guy and I just need this guy I just put them in the formulation that we had and hopefully we'll calculate it let's put it in the formulation so the formulation was 1 times deflection integration of 0 to L virtual moment function actual moment function divided by the material representative the cross-sectional representative d of x 1 times delta is equal to 0 to L what is the virtual moment is x minus L so x minus L times wx minus wl divided by e i d of x now if you simplify this will be delta 0 to l this inside this will end up wx to the power of 2 e i d of x which will end up as wx to the power of 3 divided by 3 e i and I put L and 0 in it so the final deflection will become W L to the power of 3 divided by 3 E I this will be deflection at point B under concentrated point load W under such condition this will be the deflection and let's look at it I have this it's this time is this way yeah that concentrated load will be the engineer it is applying load hence it goes downward there will be a deflection and there will be uh, rotation if you wanted to calculate the rotation exactly what we did instead of putting a unit load at point B you will apply a moment and trust me you can calculate the rotation let's see this shoots or not oops sorry no it doesn't 